I think the Illinois win was, I think it was the first time our team said, oh, you know, we have a chance to, to be pretty good. We thought it was going to be a big celebration in the locker room to beat a, you know, a power five, you know, in, in state rival. But it was pretty reserved in the seniors once again, just said, hey, we're going to wait to celebrate some bigger wins down the road. And I think that kind of set the tone for, you know, our win against Missouri State. You know, the first time in 28 years, our program has beat a ranked team. We tend to play our best, you know, in February going into March. And uh, you got to give our staff a ton of credit. Our assistant coaches do an outstanding job of skill development. And our players really, you know, they buy in. They, they know that all the work they're doing in the summer and, and you know, the, that early season, it's going to pay off down the stretch. And uh, I think that's why we had some of those signature wins. I think last year was just a, a really special year because of our four seniors, you know, and it, they were so unique in their stories with Franny and Meg being four year players and just, you know, how their freshman year went to, to how they finished. And then, you know, TT's story, uh, it, just so, such a special young woman of everything she had overcome. And, you know, she was just kind of the, the face of our program and, and really helped take our program another step forward. And, and probably the best story uh, last year was Lexi Wallen of, of what she was able to accomplish, you know, being a, a four year volleyball player and, you know, just committing herself in the off season to be the best player she can be. And I mean, that's a storybook season. So just to have those four kids every single day come in and, and really set the tone for our season and our team, I think, you know, the rest of our team kind of followed suit. Yeah, when you think about last year, the first thing you think about is the disappointment on the court. You know, we did have some bright spots with some returners. And, and I did love those three seniors. The bottom line is we didn't play well enough to win enough games. Um, I, I do also think about last year's team and the success we had in the classroom, the success we had off the court. Um, and they were fun to coach. You know, I, I certainly didn't do a good enough job on game day in preparing our team competitively, but it's still a great group of guys that, that we appreciate the efforts they gave. Hoping to build off a lot of that for those guys. Um, they've they've all gotten better in the off season. Obviously, it's been a, a different off season, but really expecting big things from uh, some of those guys in addition to our newcomers. Our season was 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 finished at the time, and you know you're sitting around watching other conference tournaments and college basketball, getting ready for the best time of the year in college basketball, and things start getting shut down one at a time. Unfortunately, our, our tournament just got canceled. You guys won't have the opportunity to play tomorrow, to play Saturday, and I really think, and I'm not just saying this, I really believe we're gonna win the tournament. We got back from Moline um, that Thursday and said goodbye on the bus and had no idea that the next time I would see our returners would be in July when they were allowed to come back. And at that time, it was just uncertain. Um, how long you'd be shut down? Can we still work out? It was really challenging. Not only were you dealing with just uh, the trauma of our season being ended, but now the people that mean so much to you kind of get ripped away from your life. And it, it was surreal. At that time, it, you know, you just expect to be gone for a little bit, take a week or two off. You know, when are we going to have to stay at home? Other states are starting to have stay at home orders. Each next step was kind of a shock. But the biggest shock, I think, comes after, um, you know, they, they go all, all, all online for, for school, and then you kind of know, all right, the summer's gonna look different. You're confined to your home now, you know, when you, everything. So everyone was in quarantine, and it was just, it was depressing. And I, I, I don't use that word lightly, but that's really what it was. You know, it's just, March is usually such a fun and exciting sports month of, you know, March Madness. and. You know, I, I think we were going to get to play in March, and, and it, it was just, it was crushing. Since we opened in 1936, AFNI has proudly called Bloomington Normal home. And for over 20 years, we've supported the Redbirds as the official sponsor of the ISU Athletic Honor Roll. As we grow and expand our business, we'll continue to back the birds on the court and in the classroom.
We have uh, three, three new faces in our program. I'll start with Deanna. Unique with Deanna, she is a sophomore. Usually we get junior college players only have two years, uh, but we'll have Deanna for three years, possibly more with the new rule. But yeah, she's from St. Louis, just an unbelievable person, first and foremost. Probably one of the sweetest young women you'll come around. Now you get her on the court, that there's a, a flip that switches. She's not so sweet, but you need that. But she's just, she's gonna provide much needed post depth. You know, we lost, if you look what we lost last year with Lexi Wallen and Meg, I mean, that was some a, a need of our programs. And then our two freshmen, uh, Kate Bowman and Jazz, you know, they're, they're their typical freshmen. You know, they have days that they look phenomenal and then they have days that they look like freshmen. And, and that's the tough part. That's normal. Both Kate and Jazz, they will be relied on heavily, heavily this year, uh, especially in that post. You know, we don't have a ton of depth in the post play, but they're talented players that are gonna be, when it's all said and done, they're, they're gonna have outstanding careers here. Yeah, Josiah Strong has been our most consistent newcomer. Bottom line is he's a, a really, really talented guard who understands how hard you have to play at this level, competes, and, and has been so consistent on and off the court. Uh, Dusan Mohorcic, who is uh, the other guy who has four-year experience, uh, Deuce just gives consistent energy, uh, like really high energy, plays hard, funny. His energy level, his competitiveness at, at, at the big, you know, he's more of a five, is, is gonna help us. Alex Kotov, who is a uh, another junior college player, he's originally from Russia. He played a couple years at Mount Verde Academy. Uh, he's probably been most impacted by by the change in schedule, but a big, he's got good skill, and uh, still is kind of working himself into shape and working himself into uh, really his confidence and his rhythm. Cy Chapman is a transfer from from UMass. Cy is a, a really athletic, very talented big who is, is still trying to learn how to be consistent and, and use that talent he's got. But uh, size future is gonna be determined by his commitment to, to, to doing the little things and, and having discipline and practice habits and body language. Size future is as bright as he wants it to be. You know, our freshman, uh, Howard Fleming, uh, 6'4", legitimate point guard. Howard is a very skilled, really high level passing big guard who he gives a size at the guard positions, which we really haven't had here at the point, especially in my, in my uh, eight years. So it, a little different dynamic Howard can give us as he, as he earns playing time. Iman uh, Washington is a, a freshman from Atlanta. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, really athletic, left-handed wing. Iman comes to work every day. Uh, he comes to get better, he's coachable, and guys like that improve. He's, he's really been fun to coach. That's, that's kind of the best way to say it because of his attitude, his body language, his mindset, and, and the way he competes. Austin Andrews is a, is a big, he's a very young. He actually just turned 18 in September. His arc is gonna be pretty high also with his improvement, but he, but he still hasn't played. I mean, he's young, he's a big, he's learned how to compete. But physical, really physical, great kid comes every day, and, and I think he's a big that we're just gonna watch develop over his time here at Illinois State. Jaden Johnson is a, a kid we added late, um, and, and Jaden can really shoot it, 6'5", great kid, knows he's gotta improve his athleticism and his defensive ability to be successful at this level, but is not afraid of hard work, comes every day, and it is developing as a player. Uh, Nick Stadelman is a, another kid we added really late. I don't know how tall Nick likes to say he is, but we'll say 5'10". Just plays hard, he's, he guards, he does whatever you ask. He's a great teammate, he's, he's, he's easy to be around, he's fun, he enjoys the game. And, and Nick's gonna give us some valuable depth in practice and, and continue to get better.